Hi there, welcome to Welsh Chili, the channel where you can follow our journey setting up a hot sauce company. In this video we're going to have a look at pests on pepper plants. So we're going to have a look at the different pests including aphids, mites, slugs and other small pests that might attack your pepper plant. But before we do that, can you just hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and then you'll be the first to know when we release our next video. Right, let's get to it. So let us start with the big pests and work our way down to the little critters. So it's uh, a bit silly of the mammals to have a go at your super hot peppers, but they sometimes do have a little try on them or they will go and eat your leaves and decimate the, uh, the plant by uh, taking all the leaves and killing it. So mammals like rabbits or squirrels uh, they will sometimes have a go and have a try of your peppers even though it's uh, super hot they, uh, they'll have a little bite and they'll find out how hot it is and then they'll chuck it away and uh, they'll also have a good munch of your leaves of the plant so to keep mammals away what you can do is you can create a pepper spray out of your peppers so uh, if you've already had one or two ripen then uh, you can blitz it up and uh, mix it through with water and uh, a little bit of washing up liquid and uh, spray your plants and that will uh, ward off the little mammals that will try and go and have a bite of your chili plants. There are uh, rats and rodents um, and they're not affected by the capsaicin in the pepper so um, it doesn't feel hot to them at all so um, to try and keep them away you can uh, keep your plants off the floor if you can and uh, you can also uh, cover them uh, build a little border around them uh, a little fence or as well as that you can put them in uh, a polytunnel or a greenhouse so if you can't do that if you can't pick them off the ground if they're in pots or if you can't build a border around them, if you've planted them in the ground, or put them in a polytunnel or a greenhouse, then as a very last resort, you could put mouse traps down. Right, before we go on, can you just hit that like button to give us a little boost in the YouTube algorithm? Next, let's talk about slugs and snails. Now, slugs and snails will also take big chunks out of your pepper leaves so um, one way to keep them away is by watering your plants in the morning uh, because slugs and snails they like a humid condition so um, if you water them in the morning and let the sun dry them out during the day then uh, the slugs and snails uh, won't be as attracted to your pepper plants and they might stay away Another way of controlling slugs and snails on your pepper plant is by creating a beer trap. So what you essentially do is you get a little pot and you put some beer in it and then you can dig a hole if uh, you're planting outside. Uh, dig a hole next to your pepper plant and uh, sink it in so the slugs will all um, be attracted to the beer and fall inside the little container and drown. But um, if you don't want to waste your favourite beers on the snails, then there's a, a subscriber of mine that's seen a very good recipe to use a yeast mix with some water and a, a few other ingredients. So uh, I'll pop a recipe for that down in the description. That method works pretty well, but you need to go there every day and uh, see how many slugs you've caught, pull them out and refill with the beer or the yeast mix if you're using that recipe. Uh, another way of keeping slugs and snails off your plant is to use copper strips. So you can run a copper strip around the bottom of the plant pot and uh, what this does is usually when the slug or snail goes onto the copper strips it reacts with 
the juices that they let out from the bottom and uh, it gives them a little shock so uh, it shocks them so they they turn around and they go the other way okay let's move on to insects so stuff like caterpillars uh, hornworms or cutworms etc um, they can really take a, a few bites out of your pepper leaves so um, the key to success is to inspect your plants pretty regularly and you can uh, go around with a container full of soapy water and pull off these uh, little caterpillars and critters and uh, drop them into soapy water to kill them. You can also bring in some beneficial insects to kill these insects like uh, brachinoid or trichogama wasps or lace wings or even ladybirds and uh, they'll eat these critters up and uh, eat their eggs as well. As a last resort you can get some organic uh, pesticide so diapel or thyrside but remember to get uh, an organic version of thyrside because not all of them are organic. Next let's talk about the flea beetle so it comes in uh, varying colours from black to tan some of them are spotted they're about 1 16th of an inch in size and they have very strong back legs and they use these legs to jump like fleas do from uh, one plant to the other now these won't devastate your plants at all and um, they'll create shot holes in the leaves uh, but it won't decimate them at all but uh, they do carry uh, diseases like uh, wilt from plant to plant so you need to get rid of them as soon as you can really so to control these uh, flea beetles you can pour some talcum powder on the leaves uh, they don't like that at all and uh, if they're uh, if it's a big infestation then because they nest in the soil and their eggs are in the soil it's better to use an alcohol based um, pesticide that you can make so if you mix two parts ethanol with five parts water then pop it in a spray bottle uh, before you use it on the plants obviously uh, spray uh, one single leaf to see if there's any adverse effects and if there isn't you can spray the whole plant and um, you can spray the, the soil as well around the ground if you've had uh, a pest problem on your plant before or uh, if you've got uh, a favourite way of getting rid of pests on your plant then uh, drop us a little comment below um, I uh, love to hear your stories and uh, see how you get rid of your pests. Right, now let's look at the soft bodied insects. So you've got leaf miners which will bore inside your leaf and uh, they usually leave a little trail and you can tell that it's a leaf miner by this uh, white trail going in your leaves. Then you've got mites. So you've got a few different mites. So you've got the red spider mite and uh, you've also got the broad mite and uh, these uh, will maybe cause your pet plants to curl they might also uh, cause peppers to fall off your plants then you've got thrips which have uh, piercing mouth parts and they will suck the sap out of your leaves and they might leave some black fecal deposits underneath the leaf scale is uh, another pest um, this will uh, suck juices out of your leaves and the stalks as well then finally you've got the white flies and the aphids uh, some of the aphids are also called uh, black flies but they're, they're in the aphid family so uh, these will uh, feed on your plants and they'll secrete a little sweet liquid they call honeydew now uh, this honeydew uh, ants are particularly fond of it and um, they're so fond of it actually that they will farm the aphids and the, and the white fly so they'll protect them and stop other predators from eating them and then they'll go around eating this honeydew off the plant so uh, if you see any ants on the plant uh, you can uh, try and get rid of them by putting some Vicks Vapor Rub around the bottom of the stalks 
uh, and hate this and they won't cross over it so uh, you know put a li about an inch uh, of the stuff just around the bottom of the stalks of your chilli plants and uh, the ants will turn around and, uh, and go the other way so you can get rid of these by uh, getting some predator insects as well so um, the lacewing again um, it, the green lacewing in particular uh, really loves aphids and uh, it's got a very big appetite pirate bugs are another one they will eat aphids thrips and leaf hoppers another super helpful bug is the ladybird or the ladybug depending on whereabouts you are in the world you call it different names but um, yeah they're super helpful and you can easily buy them online now uh, me myself i prefer to go for the the little lava uh, ladybugs because they won't fly away on me but um, yeah they will eat mites scale and aphids so for soft-bodied insects you could also knock up a neem oil mixture which is what i do um, you can spray this neem oil mixture throughout your season um, every three weeks or so and that will uh, stop an infestation from ever taking place so uh, my recipe is to go for a litre of water one teaspoon of neem oil and uh, you must make sure that it's 100% uh, neem oil and it's cold pressed for it to work um, so yeah it's uh, one teaspoon of neem oil one litre of water and half a teaspoon of normal washing up liquid so uh, you need to give it a little shake before you uh, start using it but um, you can do this mixture with any oil really if you want to suffocate the insects so you can just use a normal vegetable oil um, and this will uh, suffocate any soft body insect because they tend to breathe through their skin um, and not through their mouths so um, by covering them in the in the spray making sure to uh, spray well underneath the leaves and everything and cover the plants completely uh, this will suffocate any soft bodied insects that are on there but by using the neem oil uh, you're going one step further because uh, the neem oil will stop these insects from ever being able to lay any eggs so uh, you can cut the uh, infestation out uh, completely so that's it for this video i hope you've learned a thing or two about pests on your pepper plants and how to control them or get rid of them if you've got any other trouble with your pepper plants like yellowing leaves or curling leaves then i've created a playlist for taking care of your pepper plants i'll pop a link for that right up there just now and uh, as always thanks to the patrons your legends and remember if you're gonna go hot go super hot